This journey began in 1994. It was Indian Independence Day and I had to do a performance in Burswood. It was a massive stage and a very grand venue. As a 13 year old, I was really excited to get an opportunity to perform. I had learned the Navarasa Tarangam from my Kuchipudi guru, yesteryear's actress Srimati Rajaslochana. And I was over the moon to be able to perform it on this grand occasion. Also nervous, I was pacing up and down behind stage. I was up next. Little did I realize that these moments before I actually went on stage were going to shape my artistic journey going forward. I remembered that night, there was a very large cyclorama and an incredible India documentary was being screened. It was beautiful and even Urmila Satyanarayan and Mam was dancing in it. So while this documentary was playing, I was dressed in a dance costume and standing behind the cyclorama and watching this documentary. I felt like I was being taken through all of India, but as a dancer. That moment, I will never forget in my entire life. In fact, that moment made such a deep impression that many years later, in 2005, it unraveled into my first theatre production, my first documentary theatre show, Nati Vandanam. The origin of Indian dance can be traced way back to the Vedas. The dancers do crop up in like hundreds and two hundreds but how many sustain to to stay there with dignity two months before the show date of my mother's annual concert this idea came to me i was a film student then and by this time, I understood the effect that film had on people. How it has the ability to transport people to various places. At the same time, being exposed to this stage from a very young age, I knew that the live energy of dance is not something that could be beaten or replaced. So putting these two elements together, and of course, that lingering experience I had as a 13 year old behind that cyclorama, I came up with this idea of a documentary theatre show. When I got back to dancing, that was when I realised that this is what I was, you know, waiting to get. This is what I was waiting for in my life. Somehow it's become so much part of my my life so much part of my family it's it's just i i can't imagine being without dance anymore as soon as i got the idea i packed my bags and left to chennai for 10 days I let the documentary unravel in front of me and it was the most amazing experience. I had the opportunity to meet some wonderful ladies. What they said shaped my life and led me on a journey.
we have to recognize art as part of mainstream many questions i have tried to get answers for a search that i still continue the search you see a shastram today avan andavanoda vechi paaka vendi ஆந்திராலாம் எடுத்துக்க போனால் சில ஸ்டேட்ஸில் இன்றைக்கும் வயதான முதியவர்கள் கையில் கொடுத்து தான் திருமங்கலத்தை வாங்கியே கல்யாணம் பண்ணுறாங்க ஏன்னா அவங்களுக்கு நித்திய சுமங்கலினே பேர் அமங்கல் அமலங்கலத்திறமே கிடையாது அவங்களுக்கு அதாவது இந்த விதவை கோலங்கிறதே கிடையாது இப்போ அந்த ஃபேமிலிகள்லாம் கிடையாது ஏதோ நாங்கள் தப்பி தவறிலாம் வந்து அவங்க தான் இன்றைக்கி இதெல்லாம் பேசிகிட்டு இருக்கிறோம் அன்னைக்கு நாட்டிய அண்ணாவே என்னடி தேவடைய மாதிரி ஆடிட்டு இருக்கேன்னு நாங்கள் கேவலப்படுத்தி பேசுனாங்க அப்போ அதை கேட்குறவங்களுக்கு எவ்வளோ வேதனை இருந்திருக்கும் இல்லையா அதனால் இனிமேல் அந்த தேவடியாங்கிற வார்த்தைகளையே யூஸ் பண்ணக்கூடாது தேவர் ப்ளஸ் அடியாள் தேவதாசிகள் அது அழகாக சொல்லணும் மதனி 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 நிதி கார நீத மதனி ரி நீத மக சரி சாப்பா சரி சா தனி தப்ப மகரிசா தி தப்ப மகரிசா தப்ப மகரிசா ப மகரிசா மகரிசா கரிசா ரிசா சா 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 நி தப்ப மகாரி நிதி க மத நி தப்ப மகாரி நிரிசா நி தப்ப த மகாரி நீதா ப ம கே ரே ரே ச 
That documentary theater show was a great success to me because the audience who refused to sit through a Bharatanatyam performance not only sat through the show but also understood and appreciated it. You see, the screen added another dimension to the stage. It played the role of an interpreter, a signifier, and provided insight into the situation presented on stage and into the artist's feelings. In any art form, changes are inevitable. I'm not that old, uh, um, stagnant kind of woman who think that only old is gold. All the new is nothing to be accepted. No, only a fool can say like that. New things have to be accepted. It is all welcome. So long it is not hurting the eyes, so long it is not degenerating the minds, then it is, I think, 
it should be appreciated
have to understand that the audience I was catering for was not well versed in dance or Indian culture. They were new to it, so they truly appreciated the explanation. And bridging the gap between such an audience and this art form became my forte after that. See, actually, the few, it's so lopsided, you know, today the situation is so very lopsided because on one hand, we find students, young dancers doing so well. They're doing really, really well. And on the other hand, you find that because of all the various um, uh, requirements today, that it's not only talent that really matters. There are so many other things, particularly your financial affordability, your connections, your contacts, many, many things. So sometimes I wonder if, you know, a mediocre dancer with all the right inputs uh, might make it rather than a talented dancer who may not have you know, uh, the right uh, push that is required or whatever. But I think, first of all, the government has to take a very strong stand. See, the point is, in our country, art, as far as the government is concerned, is given the least priority. I mean, nobody's interested in art at all. It's like even sports they're interested in, but arts, nobody cares. I mean, whether you're an artist, whether you're not. An artist is the person who's looked upon as the, you know, oh, he's just an artist. It's like that. It's the, it's the lowest in the rung of uh, professionalism, a doctor, an engineer, or whatever, an accountant, this, that. Everything is looked upon. An artist is like, oh, maybe one level more than a beggar. Unless he or she makes it. If you make it, then it's fine. That if you don't make it, an artist is not given any importance at all in our society. It's so sad. Today, they're willing to give employment to a cricketer who might play 10 days in the year, but he's employed the rest of the time in some company, the government has given him a job. You ask anybody to give an artist a job like that. In a month, you might get a concert or two, then what do you do the rest of the month? You still have to support your family. So then, what do you And today, it's like, it's like, oh God, no, I'm not into dance or music. No, no, I'm an engineer. I work in America. I, I'm a software firm. That, that's nice to say. It sounds good to the ears. The pay packet is heavier. You can't blame them. You can't blame anybody. Everybody, you and I, all of us want to live a luxurious life, don't we? I definitely feel people are taking arts for granted. Here people would spend 50 rupees, 70 rupees on a cinema ticket now, 100 rupees, it's like that. But then 15 rupees, 20 rupees for a dance program to watch is, my God, it's a waste of time. I mean, a waste of money, why would I? I have four people in my family, why would I go and watch? But a two-hour movie, people are willing to spend. It's once again just attitude. I mean, I, I wouldn't like to belittle my country at all because uh, after all, and let me tell you, in, you, one can dance anywhere in the world, but to dance in Chennai and to get a good name in Chennai is very, very difficult. See, this is, we have a discerning audience here, so you better, you know, put your best foot forward and you better do well. So that is definitely there. It's not that people know what you're talking about, what you're doing extremely well, but they're a very small pocket. I only wish it would move to a larger crowd. I think definitely I feel, I think we as artists, also the artistic community has to do something but more than anything else the government has to step in because we as artists, we as small lay people here and there cannot do anything much. First it has to start at the school level, then it has to start at the university level, then it has to start at the employment level and I think a lot of it depends, the government has to change their policies. I always keep saying like in schools you have a sports quota, I have an arts quota. Encourage students who are good in any art form, be it music, be it dance, be it instrument, be it whatever, vocal, mridangam, anything. Give them, set aside a quota for them. Let the children, you know, who are good in any art form come up. We have to recognize art as part of mainstream. So it has to come in from that level. <laughs> Thank you.
Artists from Malaysia, Singapore, and India perform. Even Murli Dharansa and Kavya came and appreciated the concept and the experience. The fact that artists enjoy the experience on stage is also important for me because I wanted to create a surreal experience for them as well. Something similar to maybe what I had standing behind the Saklarama as a child. That show became the first of many to follow. Many years after that initial production, I had taken an interview with one of the most passionate ladies of dance I had met and connected with during that experience, Proja Kandanna. times I have uh, told many people this and uh, they have all uh, you know ridiculed me you know telling me that uh, you think your whole life you're going to you know keep doing this day in and day out uh, you think that's uh, going to be your life but one day without a class or without doing something connected to dance I feel really lost. Uh, this is like a rubber band, you know, that's pulling me back again and again. I, even if I try to run away from it, it is pulling me back into it. For 13 years, I was totally cut off from dance. I was at the peak of my career and uh, performing all over the place. And I was at the dance class day and night and uh, everything. And then suddenly everything came to a standstill for various reasons but at the bottom of my heart it was always there you know that someday I will get back to it I will get back to it so after 13 years I, I would say it was like a one of us for me you know after 13 years I got back to it and that was when I realized the purpose of my life at all you know I was thinking I was wasting my time I was not doing anything there's something that I'm lacking that I should do something and then you know my janma this janma should be over so when I got back to dancing that was when I realized that this is what I was you know waiting to get this is what I was waiting for in my life Tom 
so much part of my family it's, it's just i i can't imagine being without dance anymore takadina takita ta dingena tunda digena tunda dingena tunda ta kedakata dingena tunda ta kedakata kedakata dingena